for 2023. Who's got New Year resolutions? Who's got New New Year resolutions? Nieuwe jaars voornemens. Ek gaan my leven verbeter. Ek gaan dit doen. Ek gaan dat doen. Now let me tell you this. What I've learned in my nearly 60 years, 59 years. Throw it in the dustbin. Throw it away. Throw it away. In the rubbish dump. Ons het een emmerie so. Jylle kan jylle voor, nieuwe jaars voornemings kom weggooi as dit nie uit die bybel uitkom. En ek gaan nog een vreselike ding sê, I'm gonna say, say something that's gonna sh- sound very shocking, but listen me out. Stop praying. Hou op om te bid. Hou op om te bid. Stop praying all together. Stop praying all together. Listen me out. Because when I talk to you, then I want you to listen. Nee, as ek en Raymond nou hier chat en hier praat ek, Raymond bla 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 bla. Raymond moet net luister. Maar kom ons sê die, Raymond stel nou voor die Heere. Wanneer praat die Heere met my? Wanneer ek bid, Nee, wanneer ek bid, wil ek die Heere sy gedagtes verander. Heere, luister vir my. Hier kom ek alweer met my grouserie list. When I pray, I want God to listen to me. When I pray, I am talking. God, you keep quiet, I am talking. When I pray. Stop praying all together. Start reading the Bible. When does God speak to me? When it comes to somebody, comes to me through somebody who says he's a prophet or apostle, he's just a human being, he's flesh and blood like me. No. There's no more prophets. There's no more apostles. There's a prophetic ministry, yes. There's an apostolic ministry, but there's no more apostles and prophets. When I read the Bible, then my mouth is closed. Then my ears are open. Open. So wanneer ek die Bible lees, is my mond toe en my oor is oor. Jy kan God glad nie behaag, as jy nie lief is vir die woord nie. Jy kan God glad nie behaag, as jy nie die woord leer nie. Al gebed wat jy kan bid, is dit, Heere, leer my die Bijbel. Want is of die Bijbel of die duivel, dis die twee paie wat ek kies. Stop praying all together. Take your new year resolution, throw it in the bin. We've got a bin. We've got a bin here. We can open it up for you. Gooi dit weg. Gaan lees die Bijbel. En ek wil ook sê specifiek, gaan lees besalms, as jy nie die bybel ken nie. Gaan kyk die verhouding wat David met die Heere gehad het. Toe ek tot bekering kom, 31 december 1996, en ek begin die bybel, dadelijk begin die bybel lees. Toe sê ek, Heere, wow, en ek het niks van die bybel afgeweet nie. Toe sê ek, Heere, wow, ek wil graag die verhouding hee, Heere, wat David met u gehad het. Ek kan die Heere nie behaag dier brood elke dag of kost elke dag uit te geen. Ek kan die Heere net behaag dier vir hom lief te wees. En wanneer ek vir die Heere lief is, moet ek hom ken. Ek kan ons nou nie sê, daar is my sien ebene, ek kan ons nou nie sê, ek is lief vir die ou, maar ek ken hom nie. Hy is my sien, ek ken hom. Ek het om in die woord groot gemaakt. My kinders het nie TV met, met Hollywood groot geword nie. Ek het hulle met die woord groot gemaakt. Die Bijbel mense. Stop. Nieuwe jaars voor, voornemings. Hou op het. Hou op het. Stop praying. Your new year resolution. Stop praying. Start reading the Bijbel. 
Die klink rof nie. En dis die waarheid. Ons gaan nou vir pastoor Jonah vraag, ons die woord te bedien. Daar gaan ons uh, kostpakkies uitgeen. Ek wil hy die mamas moet, alle mamas met kinderkies moet nablui, ons nog julle extra gee. Oké, okay, so ons gaan nie die groot mense wat alleen is, eerst bedien die na, en dan die mamas met die kinderkies. Wacht vir ons. Pas het Jonah, thank you. Let's clap your hands for it. Hallelujah. You are ready for the word of God? Amen. Just lift up your hands and say, You are ready for the word of God? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, everyone must be sit down if you have a seat. Just this moment to, uh, to listen to the word of God. Bible is a spoken word. It's a spoken word. The Bible is a voice of God. If you read the Bible, I like to read uh, the book of John chapter 8. The book of John chapter 8. I greet everyone we are here in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Every mama and the father and the sisters and the children and the, also the singer people worship us, worship for us and praise the Lord. We must, we must give him clean hands, clean hands, big hands, big hands for him, hallelujah. Because he revive us, make us hot in the Lord. Amen. Just shortly, briefly. I can talk about the three things about the Lord. Firstly, the uh, book of John chapter 8, verse 31. Then to the Jews who believe in him, if you hold my teaching and you really my disciples, and you are to know the truth and the truth, we set you free. Hallelujah. Jesus is talking about this word. Say, if you hold, you hold my teaching. If you hold my teaching, another way to keep my teaching. What is the teaching? Is a scripture. It is very important to read the word of God and obey and keep my word and obey we shall be know the truth and the truth what set you free that's why now you do prayer every day even our service, the service when I meet him together I pray for the people to know, to recognize about God and to receive Jesus Christ. Because Jesus speak about the different things. He said, if you hold my teaching, my word, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Jesus, what is the reason of Jesus coming this way? The reason of God sent Jesus Christ son of this world to come. To come to save those we are lost. Those we are living the sin. Those we are perish. Because Jesus said the thief is come only to, to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yeah. What is the purpose of the thief? Is come to steal and to kill and to destroy. Steal the mind of the people so that the people don't know the truth. What is the thief? Is the devil. The devil is a destroyer. That's why you see what is happening on earth now. But Jesus, the reason of come this world, come to destroy the work of the devil, come to save those we are lost, come to save the sinner. Because the Bible said, if you're not born again, where is no end time, where is no 
see the kingdom of God. Yes, you'll be the church goer. Yes, you can go with the church, but the church can never save you and change in your life. It's only one thing can change in your life. Open your heart and receive Jesus. And Jesus, don't stay in the building of the church. Jesus is staying in your heart. He's knocking in your heart. If you believe in your heart and confess in your mind, we shall be saved. Because the word of God said, bless and one who does not walk the step of the wicked. Hallelujah. You read in that dream, you see that writing there, I like it, it's a Bible there, the book of, the, uh, the, the book of Psalms. Blessed though, so it does not walk in the step of the wicked. Hallelujah. If you want the blessing, the blessing is not thing. The blessing is not only you have a lot of money, you are rich. No, it's not a blessing. Yes, you can be fair much. But if you, it's not thing, it's, it's not, the money is not enough. Because the money can never give you joy, never give you life. Yeah, the money can give you things. You can live ever and you can be rich, you have a lot of things. But you have stress in your life. It's only one thing can give you happiness. The word of God. Because the people, you can see now, other people have a lot of money, but take him love and kill his life because they have no joy inside, but they have no God inside, they have no Jesus inside, they have stress inside. But if you have Jesus, you have happiness, you have a blessing, you have an everlasting life because the Bible says, the strength of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Because the Bible says, Lord is my shepherd. I shall not run. Allow God lead you. Allow God lead you. Allow Jesus lead you. Hallelujah. If you have Jesus, you have a king of God and mighty. You lost your life. Hallelujah. We shall be never say again. Okay. Life, we shall have eternal life and forgiveness of sin. Hallelujah. And tell the person next to you say, Jesus love you. Jesus love you so much. So it's very important. Hold my teaching and keep my word. We shall be known the truth and the truth shall set you free blessed those we don't walk in the, the way of the wicked not stand in the way of the sinners hallelujah what is the way of the sinner murderer killer those who do evil things hallelujah but changing your life and take a record back from here and more back from jesus christ and to follow him if you follow jesus we never walk in the darkness if you follow jesus we never walk in the darkness if you follow jesus we shall go to the light of god hallelujah your life we shall be shining we shall find forgiveness we shall find for happiness hallelujah you can find the, the everlasting life because jesus is only the way and the truth and the life no one can enter to the kingdom of god without myself by him jesus said i am the way hallelujah i am the good shepherd he is a good friend praise the Lord. Tomorrow is a new year. They say happy new year. Tomorrow. Thanks God to still keep us the old years. We are here. You must give thanks to God. Because you are living by the grace of God. Some people who are not we passed away. Some people doesn't get this end of the year. Once a day is the end of the year. Hallelujah. You must give thanks to God for that. And God keep you for the purpose. And God still you. Hallelujah. For the purpose. Hallelujah. We are here for the purpose. 
of God. So that follow Jesus Christ. Receive in him. And go and walk and receive and, and obey and read the Bible. Read the word of God. If you read the word of God, the word of God shall wake, shall make you light. Hallelujah. Because the light, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Those who are not in Jesus, he's walking in the darkness. That's why people murder other people. That's why people kill other people. That's why people steal money, steal things, drugs and menders and the tala and the evil things the people we do because we walk with the darkness. We under the bondage. The sin is controlling him. He's a prisoner of sin. But Jesus said, if the son, we shall be free. We shall make him free. Indeed, it's only Jesus can set you free from death. If you are a prisoner of sin, give your life to Jesus. Your life shall be changed. Your life shall be never changed. And you will save again. Jesus shall give you peace. Jesus shall give you life. Jesus shall give you righteousness. Hallelujah. Because he's a good shepherd. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Here is good. Here is my good. God told us the word that He gave Him on His Son. And we shall not believe in Him. We shall not perish. We shall have eternal life. Mama, when you stress. Father, when you are anything, it shall happen in your life. Hallelujah. Maybe some friends disappoint you. Maybe the thing, the, the life is difficult. The life is like a journey. The life is like a journey. Sometimes uh, shall difficult time. Sometimes the time is up. The time is up. The time is up. The time is uh, so uh, disappointing. Some people, maybe the, your friend disappoint you. Maybe your children. Maybe your husband. Maybe any situation you 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 facing in your life. But I want to say you, God, He has a good plan for you. God, He has a good plan for you. To good plan, you give you prosper and you give you hope. Hallelujah. But it doesn't matter. The people not love you. Doesn't matter. The people hate you. Doesn't matter. The people undermine you. But God loves you so much. And we not belong to the people. We belong to God. We belong to your creator. You belong to Jesus. The word of God says, it's good to trust God. More than trust the human being. More than trust the, the princess. Because the man shall disappoint you. Your friend shall disappoint you. But Jesus, we are never disappoint you. You are faithful God. Hallelujah. Keep on trusting. Keep on trusting. In the name of the Lord. Everyone, just stand up and pray for you today. And I really want to be stand up. Stand up. Praise the Lord. Everyone shall be praying to God today. To give thanks to God for the mess. To give thanks to God for Jesus. To give thanks to God for still keep me alive. Please, Lord, I want to be the new, change my life. I want to be new this new year. If you say you have your life, I want to be new this new year. I want to be walk with you, Jesus. I know they have a good plan for me. You can give me prosper. The devil will never harm you. The devil will never harm you. Every evil spirit. We never come in. Cast out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You walk it. Get your life. Hallelujah. We shall be never saved. Okay, if you give your life to Jesus, just lift up your hands. Chief, lift up your hands with him. We shall be prayed because the Bible said, everyone we call in the name of Jesus, we shall be saved. Everyone we call that name we shall be safe. 
Maybe you feel sick. You don't feel right in your body, in your life. But today, I, I promise you, if you call in the name of Jesus, that evil spirit, we shall be free. We shall be run away. We shall be gone. The light shall become in your life. And the blood of Jesus shall wash you all unrighteousness. Just lift up your heart, your hands, and close your eyes. Be quiet before God. You are before God today. Before I can pray, before to, call, to, to God, to pray to God. I call in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I hear in your word. If I hold your word, I keep your word. I shall be know the truth, and the truth shall set me free. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Break every chain, break every bindings, break every 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 binding, every yoke in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I know my life. I will not be the same again. Lord, I give my life to you today. Lord, I give my life to you today. I receive Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. I believe you die on the cross for my sin and you rise from the dead on the three days so that you are a resurrection and a life my life shall be resurrection today my life shall be shine today in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name thank you Lord Jesus we listen my prayer Pastor Fugile can come and pray with the people I ask you Pastor Man of God, I ask you to come and pray. Just lift up your hands, I pray. Pastor, I can pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, Holy Spirit. Yes, Holy Spirit. Yes, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Pray for the people of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ayala Sahala Bakataya Bakate Viliyama Tayala Basahala Bahantaya Kabala Bahanta Riyala Tala Baba Shikya Babanti Ruhala Kabala Baba Kanti Gilili Shika Babanta Ruhala Bahali Kita Kala Baba Banta Let every sinner turn away 
just Bible, the fundile, baie, baie dankie, baie dankie, Heere, laat die woord vir ons die grootste begeerte wees in ons leven, Heere. Nie om net te sit en bid nie, maar om te Bible te lees, want as ek Bible lees, dan is my mond toe, en my oore is oop, dan praat ek, maar wanneer ek net sit en bid, dan wil ek die oore toe, die mond toe maak, en die oore oop maak, help my om te besef, dat ek jy net in die bybel kan vind, nergens anders, in Jesus naam. Geef ons elke een groter begeerte, om die bybel te lees, en te leer, en te verbreid, Heere. Help ons om ons eie nieuwejaars voornemings, binnen die drom te gooi, en om die woord te vat, een lamp vir ons voet, een licht vir ons pad, want jy sê dat, die wat die bybel dag en nacht oordink, in Psalm 1, sal suksesvol wees, in alles wat ons doen. Dankie Heere, in Jesus naam. Amen. Welkom. Wat waarop ek dood, staan my saam en my, hier is saam en my, God is my rood, wat waarop ek dood, wat is my saam en my,